Main Articles New Order Commission for the Preservation of the New Order and Office of Imperial Promotion, Galactic Truth, and Fact Correction. They got propaganda all over. Lovely lawful Milvane. Proof how perfect a world can be when you let the Emperor in. Vlada Klam. On Milvane, the New Order referred to the political religion and nationalist ideology of the Empire and the values of which it stood by. Numerous organizations were folded under COMPNOR, the Commission for the Preservation of the New Order. These included the Imperial Security Bureau, Coalition for Progress, Imperial Intelligence, and Comp Force, along with science divisions and youth education initiatives. The Galactic Empire wielded a vast and powerfully effective propaganda machine to shift the opinions and cultures of numerous worlds across the galaxy. Celebrating the end of the destructive Clone Wars and the creation of the New Order, the Emperor founded Empire Day as the national holiday of the Empire. The song, Glory of the Empire, served as the national anthem. Due to physical alterations to Palpatine to make him look younger and more appealing in broadcasts, many citizens did not know of the Emperor's scarred appearance, nor did they comprehend that the galaxy was under the command of a Sith Lord. To enhance its legitimacy in the eyes of the people, the Empire used the duel in Palpatine's office to officially support the idea of a Jedi Rebellion occurring and that the Jedi Order had attempted to stage a coup intent on taking control of the Republic, thus necessitating Order 66. In the years after the proclamation of the new Order, all remaining recordings of the Jedi were removed, with many eventually believing and supporting the Emperor's version of events. However, individuals such as Zaluna Maida and even Luke Skywalker questioned the Empire's account of the events leading up to their destruction, while those who knew the Jedi in person could not bring themselves to believe in a Jedi-led coup. Those who attempted to distribute independent publications could be punished with imprisonment without term. Nonetheless, with the end of the Clone Wars and the dismantling of the Separatist droid army, a renewed sense of peace and prosperity returned to the core. This peace was aided by the efforts of the Coalition for Progress Division of COMPNOR, who took note when artistic media appeared to undermine the Empire, using its authority in one instance to dismantle a statue of Janior of Bith on the outer rim world of Garol or by banning subversive operas such as the Song of Lodjuan and sending members of the band Hako Draslup and the Tootlefruits to work in the mines of Kessel after a song with political undertones mocked Lord Vader, with the song being declared contraband as a result. The fascist ideology of the Empire had a considerable influence on Sith philosophy, for example xenophobia, due to the fact that a large part of the Sith were human, progressive imperialism, with the aim that the Empire was a universal superpower as well as the Sith drew power from the dark side and fear in the population, as the Sith believed that fear was an important tool.